very hard to assimilate in a public that's not necessarily made for people with disabilities. Disability so, rights advocates like Gina Shu insist the Special Olympics are so much greater than a sporting competition. She says the games are the means of staying healthy, both mentally and physically. Special Olympics gives people activity and activity leads to greater health and feeling happier and all over. Something that Gina insists will not be the case should drastic cuts take place. Under the proposal, $7 billion in education funding would be slashed, including all federal money for the Special Olympics. Gina says the greatest impact would not be felt here in areas like Phoenix, but rather in places where resources are scarce. Well, what are you doing when you live in a little farm town in Kansas and there aren't programs except for things like the Special Olympics because they are so well known and funded? Without federal money, experts say the Special Olympics would rely completely on sponsorships from private companies, including Toyota and Procter and & Gamble. For what it's worth, we did reach out to Arizona's Special Olympics for comment today. They did not specifically talk about the actual cuts being considered, but said the organization will be reaching out to lawmakers in an attempt to drum up support to keep the budget intact. In Phoenix tonight, Ryan Sims, Arizona's Family.